recording. Okay, so um, I'd like to be able to do a, um, a setup of this next one with another engagement role. Um, so you all are going back underground, I assume, with um, Lao Jin or with um, um, without him. Let, maybe we can talk through some of that, how you all would want to approach uh, the underground again. Um, and that's, that's, I think, what you all are trying to do, but uh, maybe we can do a little bit of that setup. Um, for those that are, that are watching, um, we have uh, uh, the second um, episode of uh, the Trouble in Chinatown miniseries under Game Night's New Champions uh, world. And the New Champions have pieced together uh, through some investigative work and deduction and just some, some offline you know, talking to experts that uh, people are stealing, some people something is stealing the uh, sacred objects that contain the spirit of ancestors for different clans that are represented in in uh, Millennium City and uh, and and having uh, having space in Chinese uh, Millennium City's Chinatown Underground Chinese Underground. Lots of these little spirit artifacts exist in the world, but uh, for the ones that are in in Millennium City, they are going missing. Um, you know, people somehow are mysteriously, you know, disappearing. The obstacles in the way of these uh, the places where the artifacts are stored, taking the artifacts and re, you know, making the the obstacles appear again, right? So setting things right, and that's really the kind of the discovery up to this point. Um, and you know, in the process of trying to understand what this is all about. Uh, ghost went to uh, Tianjin in um, in China and visited with a you know famous author who has written about this um, type of spirit ancestors and stuff like that and and has come to you know we've come to a bit more understanding of what this is and the kind of the last cliffhanger that was was done after um, offline was combining or collecting these spirits, these artifacts, uh, can be devastating. They are separated for a reason, and, you know, combining them could be could catastrophic. Millions of lives, that kind of thing, gives us dire warning. So that's where we are, and the the Ghost um, and Phaser, uh, Phaser is Rune Force's sidekick, um, decided to bring Lao Jin back to Millennium City. So he is here, and you all kind of have the opportunity to talk with him. So before we get into any combat or anything like that, you all can do some role play. Uh, so I'll, I'll pause there. Anybody wanting to pick up the, the role play and, and do anything of any particular action? Um, it would be very difficult for me to role play the kind of dialogue that uh, Ghost <laughs> emulated in text. Yes. Um, suffice to say... Uh, uh, Ghost has spent, uh, like, on the trip back, uh, she has uh, perfected her uh, Chinese enough to now have the equivalent of basic conversational Mandarin. So so you can have the conversations with Lo Jin. Um, what are you doing, like, through his phone? Or... Um, would we have been able to give him some sort of an, uh, a hearing aid or uh, a, something along those lines? No, I mean I don't. I don't have that kind of a power, and I don't think the team would give him a fob. So I mean, he's. I guess it's through his whatever. All right, it'd be through cell phone, I guess then. Yeah, yeah. I'll phone and Google Translate will do just fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Nemesis has a, a a tongue spell. Yeah. So once you get back. Mm -hmm. To Millennium City, the team has resources, right? I think it was Ghost was on her own and was having to translate and learn Chinese to do it. Yeah. Okay, so um, you all have an expert on hand who is, you know, written extensively about these things, these artifacts, the spirit of the ancestors, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything you all want to ask about? Is there anything you all want to do with him before you plan your next engagement um, to try to prevent? And these these artifacts are being stolen daily now. 
would, and would he, he always any, oh, go ahead. Would he have any idea as to why people might be stealing the artifacts? Um, he, I think he said to you all that um, the, or he said to you, Ghost, that people use the, <coughs> or they recall the spirit of the ancestors in dire times. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a, it's a shame. Like it means that they weren't able to solve it with their own strength, and so they have admitted failure. But it's also an honor because the person who calls back the ancestor sacrifices their life, right? The ancestor basically takes over their body forevermore until they go back to the, you know, to the, the peaceful place. So he maybe he would say that people that are trying to, you know, steal these artifacts are, you know, amassing power, whatever that is for, or are, you know, Trying to, um, you know, the whole idea of the artifact is to use them when you're in dire need. Would it be okay. possible to drain their power? <coughs> um, are you asking uh, Lao Jin that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, he, that's like asking, can I drain God to him, you know? Mm -hmm. He's like, I, I, no, <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Can you drain the sun? Can you yes. drain the, the he, that's the, the way he responds, you know. This is um, a magical artifact. I, I didn't hear you fully. This is a magical artifact. Uh, he would call it, um, m you know, mystical. He would say that many of the magical myths and legends have been formed based on these artifacts. So, um, what you may call magic, he, he doesn't call it that. Well, no, because I actually have a knowledge skill magical artifacts. Yeah, great. Yeah. Considering I am one. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you would know the, kind of the lore of these ancestral spirits imbued in artifacts and um, you know once he starts explaining to you what they are you understand their their power they are just immensely powerful um, alone and they and you would confirm it right they if you call forth the the ancestral spirit it it takes your life Oh. So does it Rocket. replace you? And, or when it, I should say, when it goes back, do you return or is an empty vessel left there? Yep, it's a shell. You uh, need the fade away. It's like, it, at that point, it's like a finger snap. You know, you're dead. You're gone. And you're gone once they, the, the spirit imbues you. So, again, it's a shame. It's, it's, it's almost like a kamikaze, you know? Okay. Um... Well, the thing I'm looking at is if somebody does this and the spirit goes back, um, is an empty vessel left there to be inhabited? Nope. It, it withers away. Okay. It's so it's either, it's either somebody who's in desperate straits, like... Uh, you know that the, their family has been murdered by Doctor Destroyer, and he wants vengeance or something like that. Uh, who's perhaps not aware of the uh, great danger he's causing by amassing all of these spirits, um, and he's just he, he wants his vengeance, hell or high water. Um, anyway, that that that's Ghost's current theory, but uh, yeah. no, <clears throat> that's not. A bad one, but he would have to have a lot of followers to sacrifice. Well, no, it, they have to be willing. So. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, well, but I mean that. I understand that they have to be willing, but if he's got fanatical followers that would be willing to do anything he wanted, that's that. Yeah, 
this I think this is somebody with a bunch of followers that is just trying to well I mean it could be going after Dr. Destroyer um, but just really trying to control something my question to uh, the Lao would be what kind of area would all of these being brought together would there is there some sort of uh, nexus point or something along those lines that would increase the ability uh, I know he said that all of them together could be extremely catastrophic mm -hmm. but where oh. what kind of uh, situate uh, what are we looking for if somebody is bringing these all together? What kind of um, uh, mm. place are yeah. we looking for? Yeah, yeah. He he doesn't have the expertise to be able to tell you what happens like to magnetic fields or to energy fields or anything like that. But um, he says there is this, you know, there is this folk tale of two passing artifacts on a on a village in a on a street or like a you know a pathway dirt pathway and uh, when the two you know people who were transporting these artifacts their wagons passed near each other um, it it uh, was like a not an EMP, but he tries to describe that everything within, you know, a mile radius was, uh, you know, blown back. It's almost like a like a nuclear reaction is what he tries to describe. And he mm. said that was two that were drawn near each other. Thunder, lightning, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just terrifying. And he, he's like, you know, the, the stories are never confirmed because the, everyone that was near each other died. The artifacts, you know, they repelled each other. Um, so he says it is certainly that no one has put them near each other yet, or else this would be worldwide news reported. He's like, the devastation. He says, you know, if someone's stealing them, they're somewhere, but they're still far apart. Hmm. Okay. And that kind of makes sense with the, um, when the, um, those two in the, uh, store were thrown back. Like they might have been, you know, not that they were the artifacts, but like, you know. He, are you saying this out loud? Well, you can't speak the language, so you're saying this, but he, he doesn't understand what you're saying. Right. Unless one of us translates. <coughs> oh, Ghost would be doing her best to translate, but uh, much would be lost in translation. Mm. I was going to say, a, Nemesis would be best. On her, uh, Nemesis, yeah, I'm having a hard time hearing you. You're just real quiet. Sorry. All right. Let me turn my uh, mic up. Uh, where is it? How does this sound? Mm, a little better, but um, so are you? Uh, are you translating? Every, you know, every bit that you can, even a bit of kind of cross conversation and stuff. Yeah, she's got uh, a tr universal translator of a sixteen or less, and um, <coughs> I can actually raise it to an eighteen if I use the library. Yeah, uh, so uh, let's uh, let's say that uh, you're trying to catch as much cross talk and translate it, and you know when. When Little Rocket talks about people being blown back, he uh, he says that's not that's not the that's not the the artifacts. He says that sounds like the the clans themselves. Those are those are arts known to the clans, the the spiritual ancestor clans. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Like each of these have chi, the ability to harness their chi. And, you know, the, the spirit artifacts are contained chi of their ancestors, but they have all been trained in the arts of chi. So if you get these artifacts with chi in them uh, too close to each other, they reach critical mass? Yeah, that's what he's been explaining, yeah. Well, Ghost's original idea was to uh, get uh, uh, get this gentleman to actually converse with the uh, the various cult members uh, who've lost artifacts and uh, see if they are in possession of more clues that they can give us. Because they're clearly not willing to speak to, to us, but uh, they might be willing to speak to a recognized scholar and authority on their missing artifacts. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I agree with that completely. Okay. All right. Now, anybody else who is a uh, scholar in that area? Because this is actually something I could imitate. What? Scholar in that? He is a scholar. I don't, I'm not following you. Lao Jin is a scholar. Right. The yeah, I think right. what Genesis is, is saying is, is there anybody else yeah. that's a scholar? No, I mean, that's why you flew to China to go find this guy. Yeah, it's probably, you know, it's not like every university or even many universities would have somebody with this kind of specialized knowledge. <clears throat> What's the thing you're trying to do with finding another scholar, though? I mean, I'm just not following... I mean, point you know, very straightforwardly. No, there's not going to be another person like that. But what what are you wanting him to have a conversation with? Who are you wanting him to have a conversation with? I would guess the people whose artifacts have been stolen. Okay. Yeah, and I think um, you know after all of the deduction investigation that you all have been doing, like even you know maybe in some recon. Um, you all are seeing the locations of these uh, artifacts and where the weird disturbances are happening or weird things are happening. So you kind of have like a map of this. Um, mm -hmm. You didn't bring Lao Jin to that place, though, so I don't know how you would show him that map um, or anybody else that map. But you're, you're wanting him to go talk to another clan maybe who has had their artifacts stolen or who has not uh, who has had their artifacts stolen okay they, they you know they, they, uh, the clans were not willing to speak to us directly this you know they just climbed up and said no 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 we're you know we're, we're taking care of this amongst ourselves type thing well the, um, the people you all spoke with in the last scene weren't clansmen they were like protectors, they were the. I mean, he was talking about the. Oh, oh, oh. That's the protector of the, of the artifact. Uh, of that one particular artifact, that's but there right. were more that were, there were more that were lost, right? That's right. But I haven't seen you yeah. all talk to any clan members yet, or try to make any engagement with clans. All right. Um. Yeah, because it's not necessarily the you know the the tongs that we need to speak to. It's the people who've lost their artifacts yep. who may be in possession of information as to how it was lost, you know, why it might be lost, that sort of thing. Yep. All right. Uh, one thing Genesis would like to ask, and that is um, if she could go to where the uh, uh, artifacts were stored. Like... The last time, or maybe, maybe if not the last one you all were at, the one of the other ones that you all have seen get stolen, a, a location where they were last stolen. Yeah, or where it was supposedly stored, where it spent a lot. Of, she's actually would like a place where the artifact was stored for a long, long period of time as possible, because she does have. Detect, read, analyze magic, large class of things, unusual sense group. 
discriminatory, analyzed, partially penetrative, range sense targeting with uh, plus eight uh, telescopic to basically kind of know what she needs to look for. Hmm. Not, she doesn't have tracking, but if she gets within the area and is using her gold eyes, she might actually spot it. Hmm. Well, the, the artifacts were stolen from where they had been I know, uh, and she stored. wants to go to where they were stored. Yeah. Well, we, we were already at at least one location pre previously. Mm -hmm. um, All right. And we're, we're aware of several others that were stolen. Okay. Um, you might want to go talk with those others. We, we got off on the wrong foot with the first group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and, and Beast, are you trying to, or Nemesis, are you trying to, like, read the trail of what was there? Because, I mean, you can't. Oh, she, can't, she doesn't have tracking, so she can't follow a trail. But if there's residue there that she can, re that basically she's wanting to try and recognize the chi signature. Yeah, I think, um, interesting, that if it was there, I think detect is great for it, <laughs> but it's not there, and so detect yep. is not, yep. a, I mean, it's not there. Is there any re the question is, is there any residue of it? He's looking it, for the radiation that was left behind after they took out the plutonium. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, that's a, an approach, if that's what y'all want to do, it, to go to one of the locations that has been stolen from, try to learn as much as you can from any left behinds, and... Yep. Speak and then, to the guardians. Say again? Speak to the guardians. The guardians who lost, like, yeah. not just the only, but, you know, all these artifacts had guardians. Yes. And they were all stolen out from under their nose. Basically. No, that's great. Yeah, that, that, um, I think if that's the thing you all want to do, then that's, let's, let's do it. All right. So Nemesis has got her gold eyes on. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, so if that's what you want to do, let's do an engagement roll on it. Um, you all have already been in these undergrounds, and um, you have uh, researched with Lao Jin what they are, you know, about the protectors. Um, I think that's at least worth a plus three on the engagement roll. Uh, I would say um, the protectors are hostile and this is a um you know obviously not a this is not a friendly environment so i would say a negative one on that so a, a, a roll someone needs to roll the engagement roll with a plus two overall to it anybody interested in making the roll wall is going and are, are we like going in force that might be a little intimidating. Well, we can... We can make Nemesis look like a very small oriental woman. <coughs> who looks not... Who doesn't look intimidating unless they can see her magically. Are we going to... Uh, yeah, Rocket's a little guy. Um, are we going to take Lao with us so he can speak directly? Well, I'm a bit concerned now because I wasn't expecting them to be hostile. Um, well, I mean, Rocket can pick him up and take him out real quick. You know, it's it's yeah, if he's, they he's willing to talk to clansmen, but he will say, "Hey, if you're going to a place where an artifact was stolen, the, these protectors are never reasonable. They have been called forth from beyond. They and you know that th it is not going to be a safe place for me," <laughs> he says. Okay. Okay. Um, but if I imitate him, huh? What if I imitated him? I don't necessarily know him. You speak fluent Chinese? Yes. But uh, what's the point of imitate? Like, well, I shouldn't ask you that. What What oh, do you want to do? 
she's saying it's not safe for him. She can shape shift and look like him. The point of having him there is his knowledge. Do you have his knowledge? Yeah. Pretty close. Of, and go. You're all by yourself. You're good. All right. Nemesis will shape shift into him. Uh, freshen up on any knowledge he's got. Um. I mean, how, how, Ghost, how far away can you communicate with someone? Um, quite far if they've got a radio. Okay. Uh, I was thinking that... Uh, oh, no, that's not going to work. Because of the... Uh, anyway, I, I, I was thinking along the lines of, of if we get into a situation that we're unsure of, being able to ask his knowledge... Without him being there, but well, I think what what Nemesis is saying is because of the magical nature of these artifacts, he, she feels like she would know everything there is to know about this as much as an expert as as uh, Lao Jin, right? Okay, well, she's a thirteen or less at best, so not an expert, but still. Um, well, a thirteen is pretty knowledgeable. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, probably at least not. Maybe a, uh, what's below a PhD? Masters. And you Masters. have that in every magical artifact, or is that generally about magical artifacts? General ma magical artifact. Yeah, I would just say uh, clearly, Lao Jin has studied this his whole life. He's got way more expertise. You'll have some knowledge of this. You know what the protectors are. You know about the power of them. But, like, you wouldn't know how to... I've like, got at least enough to fake it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you wouldn't know how to call forth the ancestral spirit, the rituals and things to say to make it happen, right? That's Right. That's, not, with, not without the texts. That's right. You wouldn't... But but still, fair enough. So let's... Uh, what, what, you're, you're wanting to go and examine this thing. You know it's going to be a hostile environment. Will the team go with you? Obviously, I hope so, or else we shouldn't really have a, a four-person session tonight. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, just waiting nearby. Uh, that, that could conceivably leave you alone facing a, a multitude of hostiles uh, for, you know, who knows how many segments. Well, depending upon where where it was, if it's underground, she'll have she might have a problem. If it is underground. Huh? Yeah. It, it is, is underground. underground. She still might be able to get out. <laughs> so, as a team, do you all want to be in going in support of Nemesis? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is a terrible idea, but I don't have any better ones. <laughs> well, we, uh, well, here's the thing: it's, we're still, it's one of the least terrible ideas. We're at least keeping um, uh, the the true scholar safe. Yeah. So, yeah. so the point of this engagement then is a recon. You're trying to get as much of a reading off of this, possibly to learn where the where the the kind of the energy went. Try to track it if you can. Learn what it is what this particular power does like anything that you can about it but well, if it's just a question of looking for residual energies if we went back to where we met the oni before the oni you know the oni at least have already been convinced that we're not like you know to be killed you know instantly hostile sure uh, they, they might let us get away with just like stopping and going like hello we're just here to look uh okay we're leaving now yeah, as long as we kind of like knock on the door rather than just suddenly show up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll say that if you if, are you are you, do you want to try them first? Yeah. Yeah. So when you do, yeah, when I you try. go back to that, um, um, and I will show you where you are. So this is over here. If everybody's able to get to it, um, this you can see the sides, but the walls don't have um, don't have colliders so if you want to take the figurine and just make sure you're close to it 
and you take it through a wall and then when you move it just be right up on it so like I'm gonna take yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're able to get her up there uh, oh you were close there you go now so if you get them in that place then just zoom in really close to them like a first-person shooter and you should be able to move them. Make sure your lift height is just nothing. Right. And if you want me to try to get you there, oh, you got it. Max got it. I will, uh, I'm going to make that to where the grid is on it. Um, you go Okay, so you all come to this spot. This was where you were last time. I'm going to turn off the uh, grid projection. Uh, does everybody have your measurements set to grid? <coughs> yes. All right, cool. Turn off yep. grid projection. Um, do you all see what's over here now? Remember last time it was like a black spot over there? Is it still black over there for you all? It's still black. Really? hate that. What it is, I know what it is now. Um, there is a reflection of water and the reflection Ooh. shader is having a problem. Uh, I've got a lot of black in this picture overall. I'm really sorry about that. No, I, I, I'll yeah. put a screenshot in there for you. Yeah, yeah. I would appreciate it. Okay, so um, you all uh, you all come back to this, this kind of cathedral-like hallway. <coughs> and it's entirely yep. empty. Cleared out. Okay. Well, the Guardians no longer have an artifact to protect. I guess the Guardians left. Yeah. <clears throat> Cleared out. And the place where um, the uh, artifact was, uh, Nemesis, you can kind of sense that there was immense power there, but it's been gone. This one was you know, moved two weeks ago or something. So it's been, it's been too long. You sense the power and you know if you got to one that was more recent, you would be able to, you get some stuff off of it. But this one's just too long. All right. Um, do you have an idea where we could find a more recent one? Yeah, so there was a, there, you know, all this whole area. Yes. Yeah, so that whole section is black. Weird, I hate that. And it's the curved pieces that are having the problem. Interesting. So maybe it's not the reflection piece. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, down this hallway over here, um, you there is another um, one, and you, it's, it's obviously down here. Anybody that's got penetrative would be able to see this kind of open area has like a, almost like factory style moving things. This is Chinese okay. underground, so like, who knows? There's looks like there's some missiles down there, weapons, munitions. This is a clan's Ooh. area where they are kind of are, are typically, um, you know, gathering supplies. But right now, it's it is um, that is a, a spot where one of the artifacts was stolen. Now, the yeah, artifact yeah. was in that dark area, correct? That dark area? No. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Are you talking about the, the one in the this hallway over here? Yeah, the, yeah this yeah. area right there. That's right. That's right. Are there any unusual emanations that I might be able to see coming out of that area? Yeah, so uh, energy, um, um, it's still got residue of energy. And you know it's been gone for two weeks. Uh, but even still there, it is a pretty powerful... Um, pretty powerful field there. Mm, okay. Anybody else have any other senses that might... I mean, again, it's been two weeks since this has been there, so there's not a whole lot going on, but lots of power. I'll, I'll log it away to kind of figure out what kind of power it is, whatever, okay. while we go on. Yep. Yeah. And what's interesting, I would say both to you and Nemesis would be, you know, Nemesis can see the mystical side of it. You can see the scientific 
you know, magnetic energy type of thing going on there. So it's kind of a, you know, crossing over different different realms. We have two, we have two ways of identifying it. Well, if someone could track and I don't know that you would get a whole lot of lore based off of energy fields, but still, tracking, yeah. I agree. Well, the, the idea being is that her sense of magic would be the equivalent of at least looking at a picture of it, kind of knowing, you know, what its glow is, you know, if it, if it has an aura, what the aura color would be, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So do you all want to go Auras. to this next spot where it was, one of them was stolen recently, more recently, like yeah. yesterday kind of thing? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this yes, so. clearly hostile place. Um, make and we, we are not taking uh, uh, the the scholar with us. Right, that was the whole point of me taking of imitating him. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And there's really no point in imitating him, honestly. What was that? Protectors wouldn't know him. I mean, that's a that's there's, there's no point in imitating him. Well, yeah, there is. Just on the on um, you know. Her looking, her looking as somebody who's frail. In other words, thinking they may they may try taking her as a uh, hostage, which they'll find out much to their chagrin is not going to be an easy thing. Okay, so uh, Nemesis, since you are the one that's uh, wanting to make the observation of the of the kind of the magical lore of these, the absence of this device or artifact, uh, will you yeah. make the three die six roll, um, and then whenever you make it, just add two to it, because that's the kind of the net. This is an engagement roll. Plus three for all the recon, this research you all have done, studies with Lao Jin, minus one for a hostile situation. All right. So I, I, I'm guessing just do a yeah, target. Um, yeah, just a regular three dice, six. Or a regular three die. Okay. Don't you actually mean that the other way? Because low is better, isn't it? Yeah, I gave a plus two to it. So you really use three dice six, but you still just want to roll as high, low as you can. I mean, as high as you can. So you rolled a six, and I will add two to that, mm -hmm. which is an eight, which is a good result. You are in a controlled position when the action starts. All right. Oh, so you were right, um, uh, Jerry. That it would have lower is better. I saw critical as the low, not. Well, it means it, it goes from a, an eleven or less roll for base. Plus three would push it up to a thirteen. Back down to a twelve. I roll the six. I made the roll by six, as opposed that's, to making the roll by five. That's not how engagement rolls work. Uh, that's the the side rule that that GK added. So anyway, um, there is a page that we posted several times on that. If you want to see how engagement rolls work, but you did an engagement roll. You rolled a six. I gave you two adders, so that's an eight according to the engagement roll roll. And eight is a good result. So I will say, as you all go in, you get to choose your strategy. If you had failed it or done a mixed or bad result, I would say that you kind of blundered in, but that didn't happen. Well, um, oh, also, um, everybody should roll hero action points. Uh, roll your uh, your two die six, please. Action points. Little rocket got oh, nice. seven, same as last time. No misses. Got nine. Go yeah, roll the four or five. Got six. <coughs> and the next got eight. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, again, you all can place yourselves. Um, it, it's best to actually walk your character through the wall, through the doors, like get real close, and then just carry it as you're walking. I would suggest that we come in. I mean, Rocket's not going to be running <laughs> as 
I mean, defensively, but not offensively. Okay. All right, where do we enter from? Well, you can enter really wherever you want to, um, just to get your token in the door. Like, do you all want to be? So here's where you're gonna be in this uh, in this room in here. Mm -hmm. The just the trick with this map is gonna be get your token in there. But you could put yourself on a railing. You could put yourself anywhere really. But it'll be the trick is just to get yourself in there. Just go through a wall. That's probably the easiest way. This is what I was trying to fix a little bit. That's why it took a little bit of time. Um, and I just almost gave up because it was a little frustrating. Just get yourself on the map inside the room and then zoom in real close to yourself. And once you're yeah. in and zoomed in, then you can click and move yourself more easily. So where are we coming in? Nemesis should probably be on point speaking Chinese. Works for me. Are you going up in the kind of the top area or are you wanting to be down on the ground? I wanted to be down below. I thought I you want me to get you there? Yeah, please. And then zoomed in really close, you can move faster. We're getting on the ground over there. Okay, I thought we were coming through the, uh, the area we were already at. Well, I think that's your decision. Where, where do you want to come in at? I mean, I'm just getting you in the room, and then you can place yourself there. Okay. Um, so, like, Ghost, you're coming in. How do I adjust the, the lid? Right? I'm sorry? I said you're coming in from the top side, like at this railing. That's where you're going to be. That's uh, where I assumed everybody else was coming in. So, well, but, they may. I was just trying to get them in the room so they could maneuver their yeah, tokens. It, easier. It's it's perfectly fine for her. It's you know, she moves reasonably fast. She can get where she needs to go. Okay, Nemesis, I put you there. Is that where you want to be? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, everybody else, do y'all want to go somewhere else? This, uh, the, the colliders on this are just unfortunate. I think what I will do is just take off all the roofs, off everything, and just keep the bases, these colliders yeah. in the future. I was trying to do that by taking off the walls, but they just didn't, didn't do it. Oh, the fun. Okay. At least you're, at least he's there. Oh, I threw him, sorry. And then you lost him. You didn't. I'm going to try to... Do you want him to be on the railing? No. Can That's he, not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get him up over here at the top of the stairs. Okay. But your lift height is making it hard to move him around, I think. But I, how, do we, how do you adjust the lift height? <laughs> So at the top of the screen, with the barbell. Yeah, top of your screen the menu, next to the menu. There's a dude with a with a uh, lifting weights. Just click it and drag it all the way to the bottom. You still have it all the way to the top. Where, where? What am I looking for? I'm sorry. Where the menu is at the top of your tabletop simulator screen. You have uh -huh. modding, flip, menu. Right next to that, there's a dude lifting weights. Click on oh. that, and then drag okay. it all the way to the bottom. Well, it's still going way up. Did you drag it all the way to the bottom, or is it all the way to the top? It's all the way to the bottom. Is this where you want them, right there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So, um, I would say you all are in here, and um, because it's a controlled situation, 
um, these guys, um, well, they're not going to come out to the folks that are at the edge, but as soon as you get near them, they, they are going to, uh, they're going to perceive a threat when you walk into the room. Uh, um, anybody, now, Nemesis, what do you look like, actually? She looks like the little old man. Okay. The scholar. Trying to uh, get my stuff together. Um, yeah, so um, they collectively speak together, all of them, and they are are um, speaking in uh, Mandarin uh, Chinese, and they are telling you, old man, um, this is the wrong place for you. Leave now. If you want your objects back, you will leave. You will leave me be. I will find them and bring them back to you. So these are um, kind of folks from another realm. They're not have, have any reason to believe you. Um, as an old man trying to tell them that, I would say it's a presence roll, presence attack. All right. And you don't really get the presence of Nemesis, so, I mean, this is like a two dice of presence attack. Frail old man. <laughs> Works for me. Ooh, a six! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well role-played, uh, but they are, they, they, you know, ferociously roar back to you, and you can see, all of you, all the, I guess, would see it, the faces of theirs is covered in what is a spider. It's like a. It looks like a real spider on their faces, um, mm. and the the legs and the and the pincers move when they say it is. You know, leave now. And, and like the little pincers are moving. <coughs> They're ferocious. Mm. Okay. Now, I'll move a little bit closer to the middle here. And scan the area for where the uh, where the object used to be. Yeah, uh, pretty clear. Um, you would see the little dais over here. This uh, it was just a little spot where it was, and now there's nothing there. Um, even right. a perception roll would see that. Um, do you get close to them like that? Yes, she's moving closer. Okay. Yeah, uh, they will. They will intercept. All right. She's at her true weight. Okay. Okay. They will grab you. All right. So I guess to grab you, they are going to have to attack. Roll to attack. Mm -hmm. So this is. Are you uh, defending at six? So she's a spry old man. <laughs> <laughs> they will be surprised. <laughs> okay, let's see. Grab them. Uh, okay, they are going to grab you. I it's DC 13, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so um, this one that's, uh, that's near you... Um, comes up, you move up, he he comes and grabs you, and, um, you know, it is like like in the movies, The his hands move faster, you barely see them, the blaze of, of arm movements, and he grabs a hold of this old man, and he, you know, the pincers of his mouth are moving, and he says, I've warned you once, I will not warn you again, leave, and he grabs you, and he right. is, Hmm. And she will attempt to break his grab. Okay, so just a strength and strength roll. Now you get you don't get all your strength to to do this, right? Why now, not? It'd be interesting. Not initially. He's also not expecting an old man to just be as strong as you are. You're talking ca casual. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, because she had only done a half move, so she has a full move to to use all of her strength. Yep. That could work. Except his action would be to grab you. You would get a casual strength to break it. Then you could use your half phase to really break out of it. All right. And I guess what I'm so. trying to say is he's not expecting this ferociously strong old man. And I don't know. Let's just see what goes right. with it. And I'll, I'll, I'll go with, all right, let's go with the casual roll. Yep. So six dice. Six body. Oh, so I need to do a roll maker. Um, ten body. All right. Now she goes and does a full strength with the with the half move does does he get a different strength roll on this one no unless he's got more strength to go against her nope so, but this is a different move this is like you're using your half to break right free. I'm, I'm blowing my half move that's to break his dress. but that's what i'm saying like this seems like a separate action to the first one was your casual <laughs> breakout this one is your actual right. move casual, to casual takes no time Right. right. That that's actually part of the his grab action is he attempts to grab the the defender automatically gets a casual strength attempt to break out automatically. And that failed. And so I'm just saying on his second attempt on his at last half phase, does the def, does the grabber get a second roll this time? Because this is a separate action now for yes. him. For, yeah. 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 Sure. That's that was all I was trying to go for. Okay. Yeah. So you. Yeah, roll, but it's, it's they are separate any... effects. So you yeah, but it's not going to be any more any more than what he had used the first time. Oh yes, yeah, so most likely. Like, does he get a chance to roll more, buddy? That's all. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'll roll again. A fourteen. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm glad I got to roll again. So this is the weirdest thing, and you can even see maybe in his eyes his head tilts because it's a wrestle with an old man. Um. But his strength, his arms, and you might even see like the veins bulging with red, uh, you know, energy flowing. And he doubles down on his grip and holds tight to this old man. And you see all of their heads tilt. And he is, you know, he's he is um, speaking in Mandarin. Um, you know what? You know what type of. Um, he wouldn't call it sorcery, but what type of trickery is this? What type of, you know, uh, uh, you know terrible thing have you brought upon? He's, he is enraged with you. Obviously, he's not expecting an old man to be nearly as strong as he is. Well, Your chi is powerful. <clears throat> Your kung fu is powerful. <laughs> yeah, the chi is strong with this one. Shake your six demon bag at him. Yeah, so he is he is holding you firm, and he mm -hmm. is going to when, on his next second show. He used his action to grab you, but right. uh, he's he is still holding you. Okay, we're not in combat phases yet. Maybe we should be. Anybody well, want to try to do something? Eleven, so you could go to twelve and get everybody else in. Yeah, let's do it. We're in twelve. Let's let's do this thing. Okay, Spider Samurai 1 is going to um, hold his action. What is it, left or right? I can't remember. You mouse over, it'll tell you. It's not. Oh, there it is. Left to hold. Spider Samurai 3 is this guy, and he's actually going to move he is going to run you um up to the uh to the safe door and try to get you out the safe now okay you are your normal weight your full weight right correct how much do you weigh 
effectively uh, 100 tons. That's hilarious. I don't think... She's was... got... No, no, no. He, he has additional strength to grab, but he doesn't mm -hmm. have enough strength to move you. Yeah. She's so... got uh, minus 20 meters of knockback. Yeah, so he tries to move with you and can't. So he's going to hold you there, but he is, you know, cursing in, in Mandarin and, and you know, screaming and roaring. How do you walk without, like, crushing the concrete under you? Well, her oh, normal... Yeah. That, that is true, and you, you are crushing this concrete, right? It's underground, so it's not, it's reinforced, but... Wow. Well, the way, the way I have her is an iron golem of her size would weigh about 1,500 pounds. Plus the magic that negates her weight is being reversed to hold her in place. I was just curious. I mean, that that would be like you know a crazy amount of weight in a footprint. Yes, she should sink to bedrock. Okay, so um, these other samurai are going to look around and try to see um, if they see everybody in this room. So I'm going to make a. They have a plus three, so let's do it here. I'm just going to roll six of them. Samurai three, of course, he sees though because he's. That's it, but they also have a plus three, so he would succeed. They have plus three per with all sense groups. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six. Okay, so they all kind of see. I think the only people that they wouldn't see would be Ghost hiding, not hiding, but just having not come in yet. Ghost, this is remarkable. I think this is the first time you haven't been the first one in to, uh, to come after folks. I wonder what Ghost is thinking that prevented her from being the first in. Okay, um, so uh, Samurai 4 is going to... Um, Samurai 4 is going to hold. He's over here in the corner, so he's not going to act yet. Samurai... F Did I do it? Samurai 5 is going to come over. And bite you. And bite her? Bite her. Him. Old man who... Oh, weighs too much. Spider. I guess the question was more or less bite. <laughs> that's creepy. Well, the spider uh, that that's part of the face. Yep, still creepy. And you're grabbed and held, so you really won't be able. You won't have much uh, DCV for this, right? Oh, I'm figuring on zero. Yep. So let us half DCV actually. Ooh, three. Yeah, so he, he's going to hit 13 or less. He will bite you. Okay, so this is uh, a uh, attack versus alternative alternate defenses. All right. Does body. The defense is immunity to spider venom. He's immune to all poisons. So that means he bites you. And this is awesome. I mean, this is, uh, you. he bites you with the fangs and... You know, clink. And it, it sinks through, right? But it just, like, it... It goes through the illusion of skin and then hits something very solid. Awesome. And then I'm sure that it's going to inject uh, whatever venom which is simply going to simply run down her arm on the inside of the illusion, and then eventually there'll be a little puddle on the ground. That's awesome. Okay, or, so it bites. Or in her boot. And it's like expecting this, and it 
would it see the venom just, just drawing it draining down, or would it not know? I uh, I would think give it. A, I'd say give it a perception roll. Okay, it's got a pretty good perception. Yep, it sees it. So it's bewildered, uh, but also more enraged. Not not enraged in the technical sense of the term, but uh, but obviously not not happy. Okay, uh, samurai number two um, is going to um, blazingly fast. Um, not as fast as little rocket, but he's going to come around to you as well, and is going to. Um, Strike you. This is the oddest thing because they're. Oh, come on, for goodness sake. Uh, he goes on top of the building. Okay, there we go. And he's going to strike you this time. <laughs> Obviously, he hits. Uh, and this is killing damage, um, 12 body, 24 stun. All right. Okay, little rocket, it's your turn. Sorry, got my full of food. Um... Good question. Well, he has to activate his running. That's zero phase, unless you bought it higher. No, it's zero phase. I think it's hilarious that these like ferocious spider samurais have surrounded an old man. <laughs> and the old and the old man is taking it. Yeah, it's ticking and ticking, and it just like it's just ricocheting. I think that's hilarious. That's interesting. <laughs> rolly, rolly. Well, Rocket, what you doing? Yeah. So you activate your running. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Um, he's going to go after Samurai 1. Um... <coughs> <coughs> So the one just directly in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now you're... Oh, now you put the color on. Yeah. That's what you're um, serious. He's actually going to run around him. That's cool. And not that it's going to do a whole lot, but uh, attempt to put him in an entangle. I'm going to take off this grid projection. So I can get cool photographs. Um, I would hit a DCV tab, but I don't think that meant, <laughs> I think I missed it. Yeah, so you're going for Samurai number one? Yeah. And, yeah, you see, um, I know you, had, you hit a DCV of 10? Yes. So you hit him, actually. He does his whole Matrix-style oh. swiveling and swapping and stuff, but you're just so fast you get him. And where did it go? There it is. Not that it's going to really do a whole lot, but entangle of uh, three PDED with uh, five body. Okay. Well, now he's got to deal with it at least. Yeah, it's basically electromagnetic. I mean, it's it's not. It's just an entangle, but it just it's colors around him. Okay. So, oh yeah, no, it is it is blind, uh, uh, blinding to sight. And can affect desolified. How much, uh, how much flash damage is it doing? No, it's, it's, it, um, it just stops normal sight. It's not a flash damage. Oh, so it's like a... So he can't see out. Angle. 
Yeah, he can't see out. It's 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 lights all around him. So it's opaque. So he, he can't, can't see out. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. okay. That's all. Now, um, he can do damage. He can use his normal stuff. It's, it's not. Um, is there anything special about the entangle? Effects do solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay, so you have spun up around him, and yeah, I mean he he gets an immediate casual strength to try to break it. Yeah, and he actually had an held action, um, and so he. No, that's true too. He, uh, but I've already let it go, so he will. Um, he will. Uh, he'll just use his action to uh, break out of it. I'll try to at least. He's got to do at least eight, buddy. <laughs> we'll actually get to do it. Roll maker eleven. Roll. How many, buddy? Eight. He has thirteen. It breaks. Okay, so he. Um, as you're spinning around him or something with it, he flexes and, you know, even the size of him just presses outward and bursts out of it. Okay. Nemesis, it's your turn. Continue to hold me at your own peril. <laughs> turn on power. Uh, gates of hell. She's now burning. Okay. He's now burning. One point penetrating. Actually, it's one point. Area of effect, two meters um, surface, and it's times four penetrating. So I mean, one body is going to get through. Yep. Okay. But that should only be the one who's got me grabbed, unless the spider bite was also a grab. It was just a, an attack. So Samurai 3 is going to have one damage. Did you say two meter radius? Anybody hitting you would be in surface. included. Oh, it's surface perfect. only? Oh, okay. So it's those that are grabbing her. Yeah, so is that a, um, is that a zero phase action? You just turn on a power? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a damage, it's a killing attack. So I would say that's end of phase. It's a damage shield, though, isn't it? That's what I'm yes. saying. It, it, you didn't There's no attack roll. Yep. You didn't it's attack. Roll. It's it, just it, you turned on a power. If it's just turning on a power, then she's going to try and haymaker out. Okay, so you will um, begin your haymaker this turn, and on the next one get to um, make your roll to break out. So you're basically yeah. haymakering to strength break out of grab. Right, on uh, segment one. Yep. Okay. But on 12, he takes a point of damage. Yep, I've already taken it to maximum resistance. It's your turn. Why do things always go to hell in a handbasket so quick around here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to hold my action. Okay. You hold. Ghost, it is your turn. Ghost, are you there? Ghost? You're on mute. Ghost, you're on mute. Sorry. I've been stifling a cough. Um... Ghost is actually also going to uh, reserve an action because uh, she can see that uh, Nemesis is winding up a haymaker and uh, does not want to interfere with its connection. So she's going to wait until that is connected and then uh, fired and then she will move. Okay. So this is post turn one, post segment 12. Everybody gets a recovery that needs it. Um, on turn one, now right about this 
is, is this trying to click to oh I've got people withheld actions yeah right so it's not going to let me unless I give you unless I take away your turns it won't let me get past um, well the, the, and we can remember just resolve like don't advance it just yet just resolve that uh, uh, that haymaker and then we can take our uh, reserved actions or at least ghost will and, yeah, but uh, they the next actual turn is is phase two that everybody goes phase on. one now phase one so even the if haymaker you know, lands at the end of phase one yeah, segment so, one. Excuse right. me. So it's not your speed delay. turn. It's not your actual turn. Or no. Phase. Okay. It, it is literally one segment delay. Right. Okay. Now. And anyone with a held action could still go in one. Yep. It's so weird. Why is it? Why are they getting a it's, turn one turn? It doesn't like. Uh, I think it's set up to not allow held phases to go across the turn, although they should. I understand it. I'm in post 12. Okay. Now it's. So let's, there you go. Like, as you said, let us resolve that haymaker because now we're in. No, this is segment one, turn two. It says segment one. Turn two, segment one, yeah. Yeah, so we really do need to resolve that haymaker. Okay, will you right. roll your beautiful bean dice? Okay, 12. There we go. And let us see if he can... Only 12 body. Say again? So I see his 14. Well, he has to roll again, right? I mean, yeah. This is... It's a, it's a strength versus strength every time you try to break out of a hole. Yeah, so let me roll it and see if he doesn't roll as well. Nope, oh, 12 and 12. Does the, does, do you have to exceed it or do I tie to the to the person? Hmm. I think I don't it, remember. Yeah, I'm going to say just for the fun of the game, yeah, uh, I don't you remember. break free. All right. Not that I want to keep hey. you um, held the whole game. So um, a ghost, is, ghost is going to use her reserved action. Okay. Uh, she is uh, flying down to uh, the two people. Oh, these two guys here. Which ones? Uh, uh, the two that are in front of. Uh, Nemesis. Okay. The so one who samurai. grabbed her and the one who but who bit at her. Okay, so Samurai five and three. Okay, you're gonna fly down no. there. She's doing a passing strike on the two of them, and then she's returning to where she uh, currently is. She's got enough movement for that. Okay. Um. So. First one hits a DCD of fifteen. That's a hit. Second one missed. Uh, so there's uh, one hit at 15 dice. Which one did you hit first? Which one were you would have? I guess you would have gone uh, for five. Right, five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 46 stun, 13 body. 46 stun and 13 body. Knock back. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should be rolling that, huh? Um. There was some knockback. Okay, how much? Will you roll it? So is that? 13 minus 8 for uh, 6 body, or 6, um, 12 meters of knockback. 13 minus 8 is 5. Or 5. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 10 meters of knockback. Okay, uh, this guy's going to go back into this wall. Oh. Move him. Hits the wall. We you roll the, the wall. Take it. We roll the damage. 
Uh, how many dice of that? It's going to be five. Five dice? Probably not going to do anything to him. I never know. Might roll hot. At 20. 20 and 6 isn't bad. Okay. Yeah. So, no, the, he, he hits the wall. Um, and I guess he would fall down from that. Um, but uh, you, you can break the wall. Oh, let's see if he has it. Did he hit something? Yeah, he hit the wall. No break fall. Yeah. Unless the GM allows it. Nope, nope. Ooh. I think it's fun, but no, he's hit the wall. You can tell that um, that uh, it really hasn't shaken him, honestly. The hit or the or the hit or the hit the wall. Either. So these guys can take a 46 stun attack and shrug it off. Okay. Well, he shrugged, he shrugged off of, uh, a 15 die attack. A 15 die attack. Max, you have a held action as well, right? Yeah. You going to let it go or you want to do something? Um... I'm going to try to uh, put a bubble around my friend down here that's giving me the, the stink eye. <laughs> the one that's uh, right right in front of you? Like kind of a... Yeah, nice the one that's ball. straight in front of me. Trying to figure out how far he is from me. Mm -hmm. You got The stink eye. Okay. So that's a minus one. Uh, it is an area of effect, so only need to hit DCV three. Mm. And he now has a pretty blue bubble around him. Okay. What's the the defense of that bubble? N ten. Does it have body? Ten defense, ten body. Oh, I keep thinking the old way. Oh no, I understand, and and you can split them, but minor. I always, I unless it's something special, I try to keep them even just for sanity purposes. No, 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 it's wonderful. Okay, yeah, much, much, much simpler. Okay, so that was everybody with the held action. Now we are on turn two. Um, samurai number one is still trying. No, he can't. He's not grabbing you because you broke free. Um, well, three isn't. Samurai number one um, is going to um, attack Little Rocket. Little Rocket, are you just right next to him like that? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm run. Basically, I'm running around him because I, he doesn't ever stop. When it, it's, I mean, he's always got velocity. It's just he never really stops. So basically. When he comes up to attack somebody and has to hit them, he's just running around their hex. Okay, he is going to uh, try to train on you and um, and swipe at you with, um, you know, his arm has like these, um, like not bracers, maybe they are bracers with sharp spikes on them or sharp edges. He is going to try to swipe at you um, with. He's that. got Batman braces. With that, he does. He does have this little. I don't know if y'all can see the photograph. It's like metal on the edges of it. Yeah. So like got, that, that man has that. Yeah. At least he's not trying to bite you with the, the spider venom this time. So he's going to swipe at you because um, he really doesn't feel like he can get a bite in on you clean. So he's going to try to knock you down. Let's see if he can do it. This is Samurai 1 going for... Okay. Samurai one. Dice rolls to hit fourteen or less. That'll hit. Yeah, these are like godlike ninja, you know, samurai warriors. Yeah, I 
kind of figured. Because <laughs> I, I realized the one thing I forgot to do when I built him was actually, uh, I mean, I say he's just three foot, but he should have some bonuses. Uh, yeah. A plus one DCV, and I didn't buy it. Yeah, because so he's smaller. He I'll should. fix that. Right. So he does okay. some. Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, killing damage 13 body, 26 is done. Well, okay. Um, 10 and then three quarters of that is seven and a half. So seven. And I'm going to roll the knock back. What is it? Three dice for this. And he does have acrobatics and break fall, so. Okay, so that would be um, two. So you, what are you just, uh, you're moved backward, but you break your fall? Yeah. Okay. Acrobatics, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're both the same. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, so um, did that hurt you whatsoever to get you? I, I took seven stun. Okay. Or so. uh, six stun. Okay. So, Samurai three is going to hold. Samurai four. Where are you, Samurai 4? Where are you? Oh, he's over here on the side. He's going to come into a fray. I think I just lost him. And he is going to come into the fray and survey the scene. And that will be his action. Goodness. If he can even get into the building. Okay. Samurai 5. Is going to stand up. He was not stunned last time from hitting the wall, so he just stands up on his action. Is that a, that's a full action, right? Or is that a half action? Or just... Half action. Okay. So with that... He makes a break fall roll. He can make a break fall and he can jump up as a zero. Oh, I thought you said I couldn't break fall him because he hit something. No, he oh, can't break right. fall to land on his feet. He can use the break fall roll to stand up as a zero phase action. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like fun. That's okay. Pick me up. I think that we'll, we will do that because he will be wanting to come out to you. Dice rolls, skill rolls, break fall. So he succeeds and flips back up very, very um, ninja-like. Suavely, yes. And um, he is going to um, come up to uh... Oh, goodness. How did I lose my guy? Where is he at? Again? He's up. He's out. He's, he left. He was done with this place. I'm going to come from the other side and do it. He's going to come up to uh, Beast, uh, and you can tell that he is waiting for the signal from his others. Other surrounding Beast. There you go. Okay, so he is surrounding Beast again. He is holding his last... Oh, he's holding his half action. Ah! Ghost is going to volunteer the opinion that we have no need to be fighting these people. They started it. Um, um, no. What's the no, that they didn't start it? No, they didn't start it. They threw the first punch. They grabbed... Nemesis walked into their house. Yeah. True. I mean, if somebody walks in, you know, knocks on your door, walks in, and, and you know, you open the door, and they just walk in, are you just going to let them? Hmm. 
<laughs> Samurai 5 is supposed to have a half action held, and I took it before I did the whole um, thing, uh, the whole uh, breakfall roll. So Samurai 2 is the only one that's left to go. Where are you, Samurai 2? Uh, it should be behind me, I think. Yeah, Samurai is the ones behind me. Okay. So, three, five, and two are going to try to attack you at once. They are of a, of a linked mind. Let's All see. right. Let's see if they can each do it. Defending at one. Well, they're trying to do a, a coordinated attack. That's what. Mm -hmm. No, not all of them. Nope. <laughs> they tried so hard to coordinate. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't. One of them made it. So um, they will each it's attack individually, uh, and I will roll their um, roll their it attacks. Each of them takes one body. Say again. The damage shield is still up. Well, they haven't hit you yet. They're they're going to try to hit you. Is, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I'm defending at one. I I think it's a foregone conclusion. Defending at We've one. We've seen plenty of 18s. What do you mean defending at one? I thought you were stand. You had broken free and were standing. Yeah. You're to break free. It's minus five to my DCV. See, She's a okay. haymaker. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were honest about that. Um. Okay, so um, then we're just going to do the damage. They will each take a, a body of damage, and I'll just skip that. So it's two, three, and five. Three health needs to go down. One more. Two needs to go down. One and five go down. One. And they will each try to hit you with their... Uh, their the sides of their hands where the spiders are on the sides of their hands. Let's see if they can. That's wrong. One of them. Okay, 12 buddy, 12 stun. Which didn't do anything. 16 buddy, 48 stun for the second one. 48. And then, man, I got terrible stun multipliers. Uh, 16 and 16. Okay. Boy, if that could have coordinated, that sure would have been nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't probably have made any difference at all. For the stun? You know, well. If they, oh, yeah, because it wouldn't have gotten through. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the other two wouldn't have gotten through to actually add anything to the... Yeah, if they had meaningful stun multipliers and coordinated... Then maybe. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, that was their actions. We're at the end of that segment. Um, we are in segment two. Turn two. It's so weird. Didn't they just? Didn't we just have that? You didn't actually tick it into segment two, as far as I could tell. We just we did segment one, and you did their actions in segment two. Yeah, but I thought I was in. So they shouldn't have gotten segment one actions. That's all I'm... Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about it. We've done them since oh, they go for... No. no, no, no. This is a problem. When I hover over their phases, they have speed of 12. What? And they shouldn't. I say that's a, that might be a little excessive. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... I didn't... Yeah, that's that's faster that's than the that's speedster. Wrong. Yeah, that is not supposed to be the case. That's so funny. All right, so we have... So, uh, I'm going... I don't know that I can fix that in this moment. No. I've been speed sixes. So, I'll just... Um, 
Who else is on the speed six? Anybody? Nemesis? Uh, Max. This is. Okay, so what I will do is I will just uh, make sure that. Um, so they just took their turn two segments. And now you all. So that was their turn two instead of their turn one, you know? Now Little Rocket's turn. Okay. Because um, I thought we were into. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Surely they would be last on turn one. one. You could also just um, leave. He's uh, Rocket's gonna say, "But we're not here to fight. We're here to help find the help you find the sacred item." Yeah, they they and roar hold. back. These are these are not uh, creatures to be reasoned with. You're you're talking with you know. He's he's gonna try immortal. <laughs> You know, they're just. <coughs> I mean, the other ones kind of listened, but of course, we kind of really hurt them bad. So uh. yeah, but they also just—they weren't as powerful. They were—they were. I don't know. Who knows what? They were just a different type of creature. You know. Yeah. You can deliver that soliloquy and still do something like move. <laughs> So what are you doing? Um, trying to figure out how. I recommend leaving. <sighs> yeah. Strangely, yeah, he'll he'll listen to Ghost, and she's got more experience than he does. So, all right, okay. he'll go ahead and just fuck it. Let's see, that's two. Yeah. And if you're running away, I'll handle that differently. Run away. Um, and, and as we get to the to the end of our, our time, I think the real question will be, you know, you came here with a, a, a purpose to try to read these signatures of this spot. And these guys wanted you to leave and engaged with you all as you kind of crossed into their space. Are you going to try to still successfully get a reading off of this thing, or are you going to fight your way out? Or what are you going to do in these last few minutes of the session? Uh, actually, Nemesis was from from here. She's got range. She's got telescopic, so she's close enough to get a reading for a half phase. Uh, do it. Well, she'll do a half phase um, scan, half phase retreat, and she'll use her. She'll go back to being very light and very uh, leaf of foot. So will you make your uh, make your scan? Roll. Yeah. So her scans a thirteen or less. Okay. I get a roll of eight. Oh, because you have a, you have a, oh yeah, so you really, really do well with this. Um, and then you, last half you get out, how much, how much movement do you have to, to actually try to get out? She's got uh, 17 meters of movement leaving. Remaining? Let's see huh? So remaining you can move. Remaining, 17. yes. Normally she has 34 for a full move. Well, let's see if you can get out. Is this flying? No, it's running. Okay, but you could still do this whole stairs thing. Well, that was a half. That, that's what I'm saying. It was half move, stare at the at at the uh, ob, at the um, at the the pedestal where it sat, and then 17 meters of movement to leave this place. Yeah, that's She's what I'm saying. You could probably get. Do you want to go back up these stairs that you came in? Down? Yeah. So you can probably get to the top of the stairs. Okay. And I will, uh, I'll wrap up what you see and everything as we get out. Um, um, Max, are you going to try to do anything else or are you going to uh, escape? I will take a perception roll as well using my senses and then. Uh... 
take a half move back, um, bow and go D solid, and then I'm going to teleport out of here. Do you make that perception roll? Because I, you know, just realized I'm the last one in the room. <laughs> Everybody left you behind with the spider, spider samurais. Uh, no, apparently there's too much interference. Yeah, so you don't get it. Um, you uh, could blow no. hero. You could blow hero points. You could. That's true. You really, really could. You want to get that roll? You want to make it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me uh, let me wrap this session up. Um. The uh, I assume that you all escape. You make your readings. You get back to the uh, to the uh, uh, to to the to the base. And um, I don't know what you do with Liao Jin, but we can figure that out after the fact. But you're talking with him about this, and um, you know your your nemesis when you when you were able to in the brief moment, split second, you know, take a reading of this. Um, you would know the energy reading of it, right? It's absent, but even that combined with the the kind of the spider samurai that is there, um, you you would remember the the lore around um, you know those the the those followers of the arachnid king or you know something like that where uh, the this Chinese clan had. Uh, you know, like the very beginning story of an infestation of spiders, but then the the they kind of lived and thrived with them. And it was just basically a clan who thrived with spiders. Well, um, and maybe any other insects as well, but, you know, that was the one that they really chose to make a part of their clan. And um, the, uh, even the ancestor of the, of the, um, the spider clan, um, may have kept large spiders as pets as very very much spider thing was his was his shtick but when he uh, died um and his spirit was captured um he also captured with him the spirit of all of the spiders that were with him right that's the lore and so the uh the protectors of this um are kind of a, they are very powerful and very dangerous, of course, but that is the whole, you know, it's just one clan that is, has this affinity with spiders, and, you know, just like the previous one was a clan that had an affinity of, like, what it was it, the goat, um, and there are all types of different clans. Um, Max, you would see that the energy reading on this, and I guess you could do the calculation taking the decay of the energy reading from the two, the one two weeks ago and how much power there was, you expect that this decay rate, you could come back a year from now and there would still be power energy field in this spot. Wow. Oh. So just substantial. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now, you talk to the... Do you all talk to Liao Jin about this whole interaction? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah when we get back, we yeah. probably have to download to him to get his views and all that yeah so he, he 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 tells you he's just flabbergasted you guys are stupid <laughs> what were you thinking he was like the spider king nemesis you told me you knew about these things i'm kidding um, um he says the spider king was one of the powerful most powerful whomever stole that artifact navigated through these people and escape to to tell the tale like he's he's just in other words who could sneak up on a spider yeah <laughs> and they would have been guarding this and he assumes that if there's been thefts he says that the that the defenders of the spirit the artifacts would be vigilant and he says you know what you all have described to me the disappearance of objects people entering from different ways how in the world could someone be, you know, passing through without being noticed? Or so strong that they could take on the six guards, spider guard, and king guardians? Magic. 
<laughs> it's magic. Destroyer. <laughs> oh, let's see. Somebody who is immune to poison, stronger than them, can keep them at bay somewhat. Or they can just have the ability to not have them notice them. Yeah, um, so a, tele a teleporter with um, uh, stretching indirect. That would work. Invisible. Yeah. He, 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 as you say that, uh, these things invisible and not being noticed, he says um, the, the Saoshin clan. The Saoshin clan. He says this, is, this must be it. He says uh, they were not in Millennium City, but very much masters of cover-up and, and stealth and avoidance. And uh, he says, you know, we, you should check. Has Ninja? Hmm? Ninja? Yeah, yeah, very much. Um, but he says their chi is, is to be uh, imperceptible. Hmm. And he says, well, you know, the easy way. The story of the. Sorry, go ahead. Well, he says the easy way to know has their chi capsule been stolen? <laughs> and he well, says, if they're not in Millennium City, we would have to go and find out. Yeah, and he says that they're not known to be in Millennium City. So, but that's the clan that he thinks of. So these things actually give off a large amount of power. I wonder if they can be botted from a distance. Oh, that's. Uh, I mean, I think even with your with your skill on the. Or do you have any type of knowledge skills or science skills on this type of energy? I'm ratings? a physicist. Oh yeah, you would just know. Yes, yes, you would be able to check readings, energy readings. And now that you kind of know what you're looking for, maybe you could even. You know, look for energy spikes and see if these um, have been moved or in some place. Like if they were all in different places in the Chinese underground, it would just look like normal energy in the city. But if they've been moved out of town, then you're going to see a weird energy spike in a farm, you know. That's or, maybe. you know, I mean, I could see why I wouldn't notice them before because they're, you know, under concrete and steel and all that stuff. I'm not going to notice it as well. Yep. But yeah, if they've moved it somewhere out from these underground spots? Yep. Let's just start looking around. Yep. So it sounds like you all have a... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to ask, um, do these things... All right, since, uh, since the spider was supposed to be, I guess, one of the most powerful, um, does it have kind of like a brightness, i.e. A, uh, a negative concealment number? I don't know what you mean by a negative concealment number. Easier to spot. Easier to spot. Sure. Yeah. The more powerful uh, objects uh, right. are and, just well, easier to know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Because Nemesis, like I said, has got um, partial penetrating and. Um, um, see, partial penetrating and uh, uh, granted only. Uh, Plus eight telescopic. Yeah, um, does that does that allow you just to to see the same thing, like miles and miles and miles away? Let's say they've transported it. Like, t tell me the effect of that type of range. Well, technically, if it was let's say just a man-sized target, um, she would have no minuses. At uh, well, let's see. First range mod is at 8 meters, then 16, um, 16.32, 64 meters, she would have uh, no modifiers for spotting a man-sized target. Now the question is, is if this is bigger than a man-sized target, that starts adding up to my, adding to effectively my telescopic. No, it's it's like a hand a hand sized object, but oh um, no 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 the power of its radiation. In other words, how about how bright is the light bulb? You know, is it a sixty watt light bulb or a thousand watt light bulb? 
Okay. Uh, and, and how far away, like you're telling me 64 meters, but if they've moved it out of the city. Yeah. But if it's that bright and she can also, you know, get, let's say somebody like, um, little rocket to go running her around. If she's, I, whoever's got that, uh, fast so that she can just start going in scanning areas. Okay, I think these are all things for y'all to consider how you want to do off offline. Like, you're just basically going to go to every part of the city or to every other city or to bigger radiuses, just spinning all around to find the heat signature or the, the mist <laughs> that you kind of resi residually noticed here, if I understand correctly. And then right. si well, similar, Max is going to try to find energy readings. Um any of us have a satellite? Uh, no. I'm sure. Thought we, we got a lot. Of, we got several billionaires on our team, yeah, so I I'm thought sure I'd ask. Of course, does. I don't know if GK will make me pay points for it, but I'm sure I have a satellite. Yes, I do. Of course, I do. <laughs> no rocket doesn't, but um, I mean, we got a satellite. Ghost. Uh, <laughs> all she's got to do is carry what we need up there. Yeah, no. Um, I'm going to go borrow one. Okay. Yes, but, do that. Hack um, it. <laughs> We could do that too. Hey, Cypher. Um, with their different senses, would we be able to? Well, again, this could be done offline, but what Rocket would suggest as well with Max and Nemesis um, is there something that's similar between the two uh, that we've noticed? that we could adjust a satellite or whatever to be able to pinpoint that kind of radi radiation. Right. That's, that's going to be more of a max thing. Or maybe, he's maybe he working, has that type of skill well, too. He's working I mean. in actual physics and I'm working in something else. Right. I understand. But it, um, even magic has a feel. Uh, uh, um, a field of field of some sort. So, by combining the two, we might be able to um, use satellites, hack into satellites, have uh, ghosts take something up, something like that. Uh, that we can look out and around and try to figure out more what's going on. Maybe, um, you know. Because we know where two of them were. I wouldn't so even we, use a satellite. Just something you can take up high in an airplane. Yeah. That would work too, but um, well, I mean, rocket so can't do that. that but. You know what type of radiation that that the, uh, spi the spider totem is. Right. And by there are numerous totems together. that have been taken. We're not just looking for the spider totem. The, the <coughs> no, but that's the one the, the one totem we know what it looks like. Okay. Well, we we have an we also have an idea what the other one looks like. The radiation levels were smaller yep. on the one that was taken two weeks ago. But right. that was um, something though, that Nemesis couldn't see. It was right. too for her. Yeah, I mean, I think you but all are I thought, also... I thought I mean, Max did. I mean, I think the whole process of trying to um, identify energy readings out of the norm now, and even the mystical, magical readings off of this one, you all would identify that these artifacts are... Um, have been moved out of the city, but they are um, regularly moving. Like they're not staying in the same location. And okay. it, or um, so let's say it spends a night here, mm -hmm. the afternoon there. So, um, yes. Um, and it's almost like clockwork, you see them moving. But um, 
periodically you will see uh, one of the energy readings uh, disappear. As and in then, just, as in fade out, yep, or yep, yep, or move out of range. No, fade fade out. So it's like you're watching them all move, 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 like a move, like a like a musical chairs, and then periodically, one will disappear. Okay, is and there a pattern to disappears. the movement? Say again. But okay, it disappears. Does it come back? No. Not the same type of reading, not at all. You, you're, that reading is, is gone. Um, the mystical energy of the artifact is gone. And I, I just will take the liberty and assume you're telling all this to Lao Jin. Yes. And he will tell you uh, someone is called the spirit board. The capsule is no longer emanating the energy. Okay. Is there a pattern to the other movement? I mean, uh, do they all kind of like rotate through the same no, no, thing, no. but it's, at a distance? Yeah, whomever is moving this is trying to, you know, not pattern. They're they're trying not to be seen or not to be, you know, followed. Um, they're not going to the same places that, you know, moving. They're just going all randomly all over the place, but moving. And they're not okay. blinking out all in the same place. No, no. But periodically... One will disappear, and then are they bl one. are they blinking out in large cities, out nope. in the middle of nowhere? Out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of nowhere. You know, fields in the Midwest, um, crop you know, circles. Yeah, that kind of stuff. It's just off in weird spots. And if you're doing a big enough satellite read, you'll see they're trying to to keep them out of the cities, and they're moving them out of Millennium City, but then they disappear. Hmm. I mean, Ghost and I would be fast enough that we could, once we have a spot, we could get there fairly quickly. Hmm. Um, not necessarily where they're... Okay. I don't know. I think we need to look at some of the places that they disappeared see what we can get see if we can at least find the original container oh well, that's cool um, yeah do you do you all want know, to try to like go to one of the spots where one of the, the energy readings disappeared sure yeah i mean you know if we can find the at least the container um you know we can maybe take it back and go we know what's happening here's the container how do we get your ancestor back i'm not sure they have containers yeah no 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 Thank there you. were capsules um and so let's say you're not trying to go confront the capsule you're trying to go after it disappears right so yeah well, that, I, you, that, find you know one of the as he said, one of the crop circles, you know, out in the farmland in the middle where it disappeared, um, go there quickly uh, and see if we can at least find the uh, storage container, well, the idol that it was stored in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I think this will be the um, last little tidbit I'll give. Um and uh, and maybe we'll just say you 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 coordinate it so that um, how fast can you actually get there? Um, okay, rocket can circle the globe in a second. It would take Ghost about uh, depending on where it is. If it's somewhere in the United States, about twenty seconds. Uh, somewhere else on the rest of the planet, it could take as much as a minute. Okay, so after one of the things blinks out. You all will get there as fast as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would I would slow down enough to stay with Ghost. I mean, you know, <laughs> obviously we're not together, but okay. Well, we could be. Yeah. So when you get there, um, I'm sorry to be so anticlimactic, but when you get there, you you see nothing. You see the well, no, you wouldn't even see the energy reading. So it's just yeah, empty field. And no no container or anything around. Nope. 
They did not leave evidence of their activity. Okay. Hmm. I think we're dealing with interdimensional beings or something. Well, yeah, but <laughs> they are. Yeah. The, the, the spirits are not part of this dimension. Well, no, the, the spirits aren't stealing themselves. There's true, true. Somebody else is stealing the spirits. <laughs> and that's somebody else. Wow. Uh, I, I'm leaning towards the theory that, uh, you know, the, the, we're dealing with extra dimensional teleport and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's possible. Okay. I mean, I'm I I'm, I'm sorry you didn't end up confronting one, but I, I assume maybe um, you all are watching them move, seeing them blink out of existence, going. Maybe you do that a couple of times, and you see that you've missed whatever happened. Um, maybe in the next scene we have one where you um, you uh, try to actually follow one. Yeah, itself. Uh, that, that's why I was asking for a pattern. If you know there was some kind of normal, or well, not necessarily normalcy, but do we? Yeah, but we actually can, can tell moving. the. We yeah. can see the 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 movement, so we can actually track the movement. Yep, yep. You don't know the pattern they're going okay. in, but y'all can move fast enough. You particularly, where you could go see it. Right? It's not moving yeah. so okay. fast that, you know, in a second you won't see it, you know. What kind of yeah. speed are we talking about these things moving at? Oh, they're like, you know, maybe like, uh, you know, 30, 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. They're, yeah, they're not moving blazing fast. They're being like... Like, in a, yeah. like in a car or well, a truck or that, something like that? You don't know how they're well, being transported, I, but it's... it's well, not I'm just saying speed, that... Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that if it was being transported in a vehicle, would it would we would be able to see that like the change is, is it matching roads and is the speed that it's moving matching the speed on that section of the road? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not on roads. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, it, if we get to one and there's absolutely nothing there and we do it a second time and there's nothing there, then obviously we would need to try to hit um, one of the closer ones. And I mean, I can carry, you know, I could carry Nemesis with us as long as she's not heavy. Um. <laughs> no, she is heavy. She's, she is crazy heavy. Well, she can, she can also turn it off. She's heavy. Yeah, so or are you always heavy? What? Nope. Be normally like, light as a feather. You know, 50, kilo, 50 kilograms. Oh, okay. She's yeah, like, he can carry that. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, so if let's say. Rocket's got a 15 strength, so he could carry one. He uh, could he carry, can carry uh, but uh, whoever she's carrying has to uh, have some pretty good life support. So yeah. you will try to get to the location of one that's moving that is not blinked out, right? Correct. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, okay. You, you still there, Max? You agree? Nemesis can get up to 188 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Then you can... So if it's not traveling, you know, airplane speeds, basically... She could probably keep up with it. Yeah. Well, you said 40 to 50 mile an hour range. Yeah, the, the trick is actually getting to the location. Oh, it's right. not so much uh, keeping well, up with it. The thing is, is if we can, whoever can detect it, which is, odds are is probably Max. So we all need to follow Max and um, at whatever, you know. Fortunately, Max can teleport a team of eight. At uh, 300 miles an hour. Okay. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so I, I think this could be a good lead up for the next event. 
you all um, go to one that's like in this field somewhere out in the Midwest. And um, when you get there, um, you don't see an object. But what you do see um, is, um, oh yes, and, and um, Little Rocket would, would notice this. Um, two of the people that were in the uh, supermarket that he rescued. Uh, r say that again. I, I okay. All right. And these the are these the two that we've seen at pretty much every scene. Yep. Of yep. Yep. Okay. they're the ones responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize them. Uh. They've been at every scene. Something ain't right. <laughs> Okay, I think that's where we'll wrap tonight. So you all, the next scene will start with these two folks in a field with you all. Uh, um, there's not, I mean, there is a reading, and Max would be able to tell you there's a reading of the energy, um, and even the same nemesis has been, been moved, teleported there too. You'll see the mystic energy, but you won't see an object visibly. Hmm. So it does sound like that other clan that uh, Lowell was telling us about. Okay, hope you all enjoyed this. Because, uh, I think the next scene is going to be interesting. I'll try to do something a little bit less simple, a little bit less complicated on the scenery. But uh, sure. it'll be a confrontation. Yeah, so just, don't, we... just don't put any colliders on the top. <laughs> Gosh, man, I just I thought I had taken care of it. I really did go through and remove all the colliders painstakingly, and it just wasn't. It was the curved walls that hurt me, and there's so many curved walls here. Because I did like a wall, a search and find of wall, mm -hmm. and there is one that is kind of called curved, and it I just didn't change the glider on that one. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, is there experience? Yeah, definitely. These uh, these sessions are three experience points. So um, hey. if you want to get an extra one, get uh, write a journal link it to the session report when I post it. But um, for that for tonight. I think we also progressed the story a lot off screen, right, without uh, without battle, uh, trying yeah. to get you all to understand, or with Lao Jin, what's actually happening here. Yerp. Yep, yep. I have a quick question for all of you guys, and this is more of just a how you use tabletop simulator. Do you guys actually use the the dice roller much? Do you actually go to the dice roller and use it? Yes. I use the dice make the roll maker. That's not what I asked. Do you actually go to the dice roller, the little thing on the table, and use no. that? No. Never. Yeah, I don't either. I use the, the heads up little screen where it's roll maker, dice rolls. I use roll maker more than anything. Same yeah. here. Okay. No, that's one of the things I was um, kind of interested in because I talked with Brennell last week uh, about some of the stuff he's doing in Tabletop Simulator. You know, a lot of people have seen his maps and things like that. And why the hell is my computer just freaking out? <laughs> um, no, like, literally.